I'm shocked that we're here for season 10. Uh, because in the first season, I thought we'd just about get through that season. Uh, and I'd be happy to have done that. And then season two came along and I thought, well, this is just incredible. Uh, it's going to be all over at the end of this, but it's been great two seasons. Here we are, season 10, and we just get better and better. The auditions for season 10 have been quite remarkable. Uh, I think the first city that we went to, I was a little disappointed and I thought, wow, we created such a, a high level in season 9, we're not going to attain it again in season 10. And then we went to other cities and then they really came out in numbers and we thought, wow, this is so exciting. Again this year, we're going to raise the bar. And just from working here this morning in Vegas, I know that that's going to happen. You know, I'm often asked, what are the changes you're going to make this year? What little changes are you going to bring into the format? And I said, we don't need to. The dancers bring the changes. The dancers are the ones that create the magic for this series, not the format. It's the talent. Uh, and again, this season, season 10, the talent is magnificent. One of my favorite routines of all time was the opening of our finale last year. It was Chris and Sonia, and they came together and created this incredible routine. Uh, and, you know, I, I can't wait to see it again. I, I'm, I want to put them together again this year and see what they come up with. I do think that Cyrus has been inspirational to dancers in this country. We've got an awful lot of animators this season that are quite brilliant. A most shocking moment for me, I think, was when Alex Wong snapped his uh, Achilles heel. Uh, it was a horrible moment, uh, shocking to all of us, I think. We have injuries all the time. That's dance by its very nature, being so athletic nowadays is gonna create injuries. But this was a devastating injury. And then the moment he was gonna come back to us the night before, he then snapped the other Achilles heel. And you just go, wow, this is fate at the moment. But he's dancing terrific again now. Uh, he's done Broadway, he comes back to us, of course, we will be bringing the All-Stars back this season, and hopefully Alex Wong will be one of them. It never ceases to amaze me how these choreographers get the dancers to do what they are doing. There, there, there must be at some point a ceiling to where the athletics and gymnastics go. I don't think we've even found it yet, but it becomes so dangerous. They're leaping off this sofa, they're jumping across that table, they're throwing the girl up in the air, she's spinning around, they're catching her by a little toe before her face smashes into the floor. I mean, th th this is so exciting. Uh, and, and it just gets more and more and more entertaining. Uh, I believe that this program, So You Think You Can Dance, has, has made an impression on dance in this country. The kids that I'm seeing now that come to us to audition are impassioned with this feeling of just being creative and wanting to learn and needing to learn and then expressing themselves. At a time when the arts are being sort of shunned in schools, they are going home to their own bedrooms and creating for themselves.